Hello, my name is Oswaldo Sanchez, and I'm partnered with Mega Texas. I am going to show you how to build a 3D violin, also the obstacles I have faced. I have downloaded seven files from Thinkiverse.com. That one of the parts, neck part two, I have cut it uh, into two pieces. The reason because was the 3D printer ha did not have a large enough surface area. Next, I have printed neck part one, neck part three, the handle, the chin rest, the shoulder rest, and shoulder rest part two. The three files from my right took at least five hours each. And the four files to my left took at least one or two to three hours to print. I'll be explaining the materials I have used for the 3D violin print. I have used a steel rod, a screw for the circle piece, a screw and a nut for the shoulder rest, a screw and a nut for the chin rest, a screw for the sh handle piece, two screws for the tail, and a screw for the pegs. We will need four pegs, a violin bridge, an amplifier, and the four strings for the violin. Next, you'll need the three violin necks and the steel rod. You'll see for each uh, part that there's a big hole in, in all of them that the rod will fit in that you just have to just screw it in after the rod is inside the violin next is putting the handle like so I'm going to put it between the neck, neck part one and neck part two and we'll be putting the screw After you put on the handle, the next part is putting on the chin rest. We'll need a screw and a nut. First, we put in the chin rest. Next, the screw. And when the screw is in, we put the nut towards the neck here, and it'll be sturdy. When you have put on the chin rest, the next piece is the shoulder rest and shoulder rest part two. You will need the screw for the shoulder rest part two, a screw and a nut for the shoulder rest to connect the shoulder rest and shoulder rest part two. So let's connect. Like so. And we put in the long screw through here and the nut through the shoulder rest part two, and we connect it. After we connect them, we put it under the violin and through the circle piece, like so. And we use the shoulder rest part two screw through the, the neck part three and screw it in. After putting on the shoulder rest, we are going to put on the pegs with the string that we also need the bridge of the violin to make a sound of a note. The problem I have faced was when we had the nut and the screw for the pegs, I did not have all four of the screw nuts. So I have survived what I had at the time. So, we put it in. And when you put, uh, make the peg tight enough towards the end, you put on the string. Usually, you see 
this point at the end of the violin. But at this situation, it's going to be at the top. So, we put this end through the neck part one, and that there are holes right here. And we just put one of the holes and just go through. That you go through one of the pegs, holes, and tighten it. And when you tighten, you want the bridge on the neck part two, that when it's tightened, it will make a note sound towards the end. After you put on the strings, I have only put on two, but you can hear it has a purpose right now. Next is having both the screws for neck part three and neck part two. The situation I have faced is we did not have any nuts for these. That when we put it in, the nuts are supposed to go in here. And if we have no nut, it easily falls out. So I just put on duct tape to just keep on the screw in. Next, the amplifier. This was another situation that we have faced. The amplifier I had bought was too big for the violin I was I'm using. So I just improvised and used another amplifier that this amplifier is cheaper. And, but it still uh, you, uh, used the same purpose of the violin and the violin will, will still work. And this will this is how you build a 3D violin.